Today we have 11 orders going out for a total of $380. So let's jump in and see what's sold. First thing that's sold is this Funko Pop, Peggy Olsen. As you can see, I'm into this for $4 Walmart clearance. I did contact the buyer because I noticed that this one does have a tear and this is my last one. So I offered them 10% off or I could cancel the order. Still waiting to see what happens on that. Next order we have going out is this Leap Pad 2 Glow. Does have the power cable and it came with two cartridges. Got this at my local thrift store. Mint to it for $5. This is obviously an older listing because it has free shipping. This sold for $36.51. And like I said, it's going free shipping. And right now it's at a $12. Five. So I might be able to get this into a box and still keeping it going out first class. Next item is another one of the free magazines I get at my local thrift store. This one is Special Collector's Edition Rolling Stone Bob Dylan, the complete album guide. And on this, it has no advertisement in it. at all so this qualifies for media mail this sold for seven dollars and 61 cents and the buyer is paying 365 in shipping got a message from the buyer for this Funko Pop and they said they wanted a refund so I need to text them back did they want the 10% refunded or did they want me to cancel it completely so I'll text them back okay so I just sent them a message Ask them if they wanted the 10% or cancel. Because their message wasn't very clear. Next item is another one of the items from that Sunbeam Mixer that I pieced all apart. This happens to be the bowl. And as you see, it does have Sunbeam on the bottom of it. This is the glass fake mixing bowl for the Sunbeam. So that mixer, I paid $3 for everything. This sold for $20.36, and the buyer is paying $13.19 in shipping. Next thing going out is this Ford Motorcraft hat. It is new without tags, so that's how I listed it. Picked this up at my local thrift store for a dollar. This sold for $16.96, and the buyer is paying $5.70 in shipping. Next item going out is this... Not even sure if I can pronounce this. As a Moves science fiction book. Pick this and another one up at my local thrift store for free. So I listed them separately. This sold for $8.46 and the buyer is paying $3.65 in shipping. Okay, just heard from the buyer. They did want to go ahead and cancel this order. So this will not ship. So this is a good example of when you find an issue with an order, don't try to ship it out like that. Communicate with the buyer. Give them an option like I did. I gave them an option of 10% off or they can cancel the order. They elected to cancel the order so we don't get a ding on our account and item not fulfilled. I had to stop the camera for a second. My grandkids were upstairs playing ball and it was getting very loud upstairs. Okay, next order going out. I had made a mistake on this. I sold two of these. The reason I brought all three of them is because these two cars I had mixed up in the boxes and the buyer did let me know. He went and purchased this one and this says it's the Vista Dome car. And this one says it's the observation car. This is the observation car. And this is the Vista Dome. So what I need to do is I need to take these out of the box. If 
try to be real careful with it. Try not to damage the box too, too much. So, I have to swap these boxes. This is the Vista Dome car. in here and this is the observation car so we'll get this back in so what I had to do is I did have a watcher on this indicating that was the incorrect one the buyer came in and bought this but said they wanted this one right here what the description said so I took a photo of this one they said yes so I'm going to go ahead and ship this with the correct box, different photo, but I did send the buyer a photo and they agreed and said, yes, this is the one that they wanted. Let me know, would you have had the buyer cancel the order, fix the listing, and then have them come back in and buy again? They came in and bought the observation car and they bought the baggage car. So I said I would go ahead and do that and not upset the buyer or have them go through any hassles of having to me cancel and have them reorder. Picked up all three of these cars for $25 at my local thrift store. So cost of goods is about $8.33 per car. These two sold for $96.82 and the buyer is paying $16.44 in shipping. What I also did is I did reach out to the buyer, said I would Go ahead and gladly do that. I also offered him this one at a reduced rate. That way I could maybe move it out. They said they already had this one. So what I'm going to have to do with this is I canceled. I ended the listing on the, the one. I'll retake photos of this, get this listed correctly, and hopefully this will move out quick. Next thing we have going out is another free magazine, the Bob Dylan. Again, this sold for $761, and the buyer is paying $365 in shipping. Picked up four of these Star Wars, the Mandalorian Easter Egg Decorating Kit. Many each of these for $0.20, cents, so I lotted all four of them together because one wasn't worth all that much, so I decided to lot, lot them together. These sold for $14.41, and the buyer is paying $565 in shipping. We have another free magazine going out. This happens to be the last Kobe Bryant. If you remember on the last video, I did sell one to a viewer. This sold for $6.76 and the buyer is paying $3.65 in shipping. Next item going out is this vintage Cornwall electric warming plate. Did pick this up at my local thrift store. Minted this for $1.50. This sold for $16.96. And the buyer is paying $12.77 in shipping. Last item we have going out is this Google Fiber. Hub is brand new in the box. Got this from a friend of mine, so cost of goods into this is nothing. This sold for $29.71. And the buyer is paying $10.65 in shipping. Now, if this feels light enough, it might go out at a first class. Yes. So, not sure why I had the shipping so high. All I'm going to do with this, since it's already in the box, I'm just going to put this into a poly bag and ship it out that way. Next thing we have is this. This, we're going to have to get a little creative. Um... Everything in this is going to be 18, so that's not going to be an option. Unless. No, that's going to push it over. So I do have this box right here, which is a 17 by 11, but the 11 won't quite make it. So, what we need to do is readjust the box. Pull the band off of 
Yes. going to do is we're going to just make our own box by resizing this and now the same over here okay, now we need to fold this like that this one okay. same over here That side, we're going to go ahead and pull these in. Cut off a little bit. And we're good to go. So we need to trim these down. Now we've got a makeshift box for this. Okay, we need some smaller bubbles wrapped this way. By the way, we need bubble wrap, American Bubble Boy. Be delivered in two days or less. Can't beat that. I want to make sure the knob goes up on top. I always like to cover up these. Well, hopefully, I've got this right. So we're at 5.11, I had 5.10, so we're still under. It's a little longer. I had 21, we're at, say, 24. That might cost us 13, 24, 13, five. Yes, that ended up costing us. But I can still get this to go out UPS ground at $13.59. Buyer paid $12.77, so it cost me a little less than a dollar. 
to ship this out. So let's make put this on here. We have 24 by 13 by 5 by 11. Excuse me.